Hey everyone, so in this video I am actually going to show you how to create a fan page. And the reason for this is because I recommend people create a fan page for their personal page, uh, like your personal brand, as well as your business, as well as any potential like interests and stuff that you can have. But a lot of people don't know how to do it, so I'm going to show you how. So the first thing is, there's a couple different ways actually. On the left sidebar, there's a little pages section here, you can click on that. Uh, but what I like to do actually is because sometimes this thing doesn't show up the stuff on the explore tab So all I do is go to facebook.com and go to slash pages and then go to slash create and This goes directly to uh, The create a page and what you can do is Depending on what you're building this up for if it's for a business or brand you of course select the one on the left here If it's for a community or public figure you do the one on the right and all you do is click on get started after that. So I guess I'll do community or public figure and I've already done this so I'm not sure if uh, I'm not going to go through the whole process but I'll show you like where to do it. So this could be like Chris Hughes and category. Uh, what you'll do is basically like type in someone. So I could do like personal blog. Um, Let's see what else there could be. You could do like community, and if you just write a letter, it'll give you a bunch of um, possible things to choose. Um, otherwise, this little button might do something, type a word or two to best describe your page. Uh, so using one of their categories is the easiest way. I'll actually create a, uh, a new page. I'll go with, I love puppies. And we'll make this a little community. Community. So we'll click that. Hopefully it'll allow that and click on continue. And it'll go through and do its little thing. And what you'll need to do next is add a profile picture and a banner. I'm going to skip these right now because I don't have pictures saved. I'll skip. And right there is how you create a Facebook page. And you'll see here there's a lot of stuff at the beginning that you'll need to do, like getting your first 10 likes, um, optimizing stuff. And what I recommend doing is getting these pictures. Um, you can go to resources like pexels.com. I'll actually do that so that you can see. Um, and I go to pexels.com slash royalty free images. I think it's just an easy, Okay, so you can just go to their homepage and I'll put in like puppies. Oh my God, these are so cute. Okay, so what ones are we gonna do? We'll do this guy and we'll save image as puppy profile. And you'll see here free for personal and commercial use, no attribution required. This is why I like Pexels. Um, and then for the header, what do I use for the header? How about, oh man, these are so cute. Um, let's see, and these can be anything. You, you really just want to make sure it's something that when people see it, they resonate with it. And it's like an, a, something that they like, something that makes them happy. So I guess I'll go back to the one up here of these couple dogs and we'll save image puppies uh, cover photo and then I'll go back here and we'll add the thing we'll go to change picture go to upload photo and I save that to the desktop puppy profile and then you can drag it to reposition um, you can make it like just zoomed in on its face People might like that. We'll zoom out just a bit. There we go. And then that should update pretty soon. Yep. Okay. And then we'll go to add to cover. And for this, we'll, whoops, see this thing pops up too. Set up your page for success. But we'll go to the top, add a cover, upload photo slash video, do puppy's cover photo, click on open. And then you can drag this to reposition it and then save it. And I usually set up a button here. I'll do add a button 
and I'll do contact you and send message. It's one of the easiest to start off with. It just gets people, it gives people something to do and you don't have to set up the full sales funnel uh, yet. You can go back and edit this to be like contact me or do any of the other stuff. We'll, we'll click on messenger then click finish. And starting off, what I do recommend doing is getting, I, I recommend adding like 10 or 15 pictures here. Um, if you have videos, even better because it gives someone something to do when they come to your page. So if they go to a page and you only have one picture, you know, once they open it, they're gonna wanna see more, they'll click these little buttons, and if it's nothing, they're, they're gonna leave the page. So giving them a couple things, and inside of the pictures, I do recommend doing something like this, where it's like our page, and I do I love puppies, and then tag the page, um, a lot of the time it might not show up. You'll have to scroll a little. Luckily for me, there's that right there. So we'll put the photo. We'll do, we'll get another picture of a puppy to put on here. Um, oh, this guy. We'll save this one. Puppy one. And this way we'll have at least a little bit of content for the page. Um, and this is if you're doing the 30 day video challenge, this is where you'll be actually hosting all of your videos. And I, I recommend doing it on Facebook pages as well as on YouTube so you can get access to both of the different networks. Um, other things I do when I first start the page, I go to settings and I don't like getting notifications because I have like thousands of, not thousands, but I have like 70 pages. So I go to notifications and I just turn these all off and click confirm text off, messages off, and then you can go back to page. And we'll also, actually we'll change the uh, settings for the page description and stuff too. So you can go to page info and you can put like, we just love puppies. That's why we started this fan page like our page if you love puppies too. So you can do something like that, like giving someone a call to action. Like our page is the easiest thing to do. <laughs> um, and once you get all this stuff set up, you don't have to have the phone number listed. Um, you will want a website. I recommend ClickFunnels is probably the easiest to get a simple website funnel built up. So I do recommend that. I'll link that up down below. But that's it. Now you are able to set up a fan page. So if you have questions, be sure to let me know in the comments down below.